Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about a MagSafe wireless charger stand. Yes, people, this is a metal stand that you can slap your new iPhone 14 Pro Max right onto, and it floats in midair through the MagSafe on the back. So in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said charger. After that, I'm going to be putting this bad boy to the Atom Lucas test to figure out is this something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up at the top, you have magnetic wireless charger. This is a wireless charger. Obviously, there's a magnet in there. This is model T517F. Take a look over there. There's an image of what's to come in the box. Uh, 15 watt max. That is really, really nice. I like that a lot. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's get into this box. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is read the user manual. I like that it comes with a power brick. That is really cool. 20 watt, that's interesting. It said 15 watt. Maybe that's what goes into the device. There is the USB-C. Take a look at the creme de la creme. Ooh la la, people. All right. So this is actually made out of some super soft touch uh, rubber right here. This is made out of what I believe is plastic, I would imagine, because this is where it charges. And then this is made out of some kind of aluminum for sure. It definitely feels very, very sturdy and very solid. Let's see if this actually pops out. Yes, it does pop out. That's interesting. So you could take this on its own and there you go. You have your wireless charger right there. And then if you want to use your stand, you can just shove it right back in and boom goes the dynamite. Look at that. Very simple, very straightforward. Oh, I like how there's a little lip down here or not lip. There's a little catch. So your cable stays nice and tidy in there. And then of course, on this end, you have the USB-C. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't notice there's maybe an LED that's gonna light up right there. I'm not quite sure. Won't know until I plug it in, but I've never seen a power brick like that before. Okay, so first impressions, this thing feels pretty sturdy. The bottom is just a solid grip, which is really, really nice. That means it's gonna lock into place. You're not gonna be able to use just a standard phone on this, that's for sure because there is no catch at the bottom. So this is basically designed for a phone that's gonna deal with a magnet and it's gonna hold it into place by a magnet and float in mid air. If you put a regular phone on here, it's just simply going to fall down. So definitely take that into consideration. This is not for every phone out there. I believe it might only be for the iPhone. Won't know until I get into this review a little bit more. All right, let's plug it in. Okay, here we go. We got the iPhone 14 Pro Max in its beautiful purple right here. Uh, we're just gonna slap it onto this charger and see how well it performs. Boom, okay, so it went on super easily and I actually felt like it was pulling. Yeah, it seemed like it pulled directly above the camera bump. So it actually pulled the, pushed the phone up right there. So that's something to take note of. Um, it's going to have to sit precisely on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off one-handed. Okay, so it came off pretty easily one-handed. It seems like the magnet and everything is designed for an easy removal. So there you go, it went on super simple. And you do have to do a little twist though. I'm gonna go ahead and twist it and pull. So it's kind of like a twist and pull at an angle to get it to come off. Um, but yeah, it goes on there and it doesn't feel like it's just gonna fall off. And of course, if it did slide down anymore, it would hit onto the camera bump. Okay, so a little bit of pressure and it slides down. Um, there's no footing at the bottom, so there's nothing to hold the phone up. It just kind of sits there just like that. Very simple. All right. And then, of course, you can see your display, your phone from a distance. So if you get a text or something, very simple. All right. We'll go ahead and try the... Uh, I'm going to try pulling from the bottom. There it is. Okay, so you pull from the bottom. That makes way more sense. Pull from the bottom. It pops out. Super interesting. All right. 
and uh, there's no way I, as far as I know, to tell if an iPhone is getting fast charged, but I have this plugged into my extreme tech right there, which is a 47 watt fast charger. So I know that has the ability to do fast charging. This also has the ability to do fast charging. You can see right there, it has the 15 watt max output. So that's definitely going to charge your phone faster. Okay, here we go. I have my Samsung Note 20 Ultra right here. This thing has the fast wireless charging built into the back of it. So you can just slap it on any uh, most charging pads and it will charge up fully. Um, so I went ahead and popped out this from here because I cannot set uh, it on the stand because this does not have the ability to do any kind of MagSafe magnets. So I have this plugged into a fast charger in the wall. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this right on. And there you go, fast wireless charging. I'm filming this on my GoPro so it's not as crisp, but you can see it down there. It is gonna charge up super fast. It does magnetize a little bit to the back. So you can see right there, it is actually being held on. But if I give it a little shake, it's gonna fall off. And if I do any kind of wiggling, so it's just barely magnetizing to the back of the phone, a little bit of metal that's in here. But I will say you have to get it right in the sweet spot. So if it's down just a little bit, it won't charge. But nonetheless, if you get this as a gift or if you buy it yourself because it's on sale or something you will be able to charge up an android phone a samsung phone um, a pixel whatnot you don't have to limit this to an iphone with magsafe so it worked Okay, so I've been using this charger for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review. And let's just start off with the build quality. So this thing is built out of some really solid metal. I really like it. The soft touch on the front is perfect. It really makes you feel like your phone is gonna be hugged and not scraped and scratched. I really like the fact you can pop this puck out right here. You can just set it down if you wanted to, put your phone directly on it, and there it goes. It pulls in for the fast charge and for the MagSafe super easily. I like the fact that the magnet is not crazy strong, so that's really nice. So if you didn't wanna use this, this stand, you could actually just pull the puck directly out, uh, pull the cable through the hole, and have this as something that just sits around. And one thing that's actually really, really cool, if you do have it as a standalone puck and you connect it to your phone, you can actually do wireless charging while holding your phone just like normal. You just have a little uh, puck on the back like that. So it completely changes the way you hold your phone before you would have to deal with the charger coming out the bottom. But with this, you can have the charger go out the side, out the bottom or whatever, and you can do whatever you want with it. So that's actually really, really cool. And it's something that I started doing and I was like, whoa, this is actually next level. But the only problem is you have to kind of scrape the puck off the back. So that's definitely something to take note of. Um, but yeah, so all in all, I'm gonna give this thing a solid 4.8 star rating. I'm gonna say it really does its job. It's fast charging. The design is really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, the build quality is very solid. Highly recommended to everyone out there that has the ability to use this. My uh, Note 20 Ultra does not have the MagSafe ability and I'm hoping that Android gets on board because this is very cool. Highly recommended to everyone out there. Bye. -ya. All right, there you go. That's the MagSafe wireless charger. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it to clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 5K. Yes, people, on my way to 6K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.